Mac OS Big Sure installed on my OS. So if I want to to move to Catalina and download the official version, when I try to install it, I get this message. This copy of Mac OS Catalina is too old to be installed to be opened on this version of Mac OS. So at the end of this tutorial, you will I will show you how to download all the official Mac OS systems. Also, how to install macOS on USB external drive or your internal hard disk without any problem. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. To complete this tutorial perfectly, you need two USB drives, two USB flash drives. One of them is 16 gigabytes, and this one will be used to create a bootable macOS system. And the second one is 32 gigabytes, and this one will be used to install the Mac OS on it. But if you want to install the Mac OS in your internal hard drive, you will not need this one. You will just need this one, okay? So if you want to install Mac OS on an external USB drive, the minimum must be 32 gigabytes. So let's start by where to get the the desired or the wanted Mac OS system. We have to download it officially. Go to the website of Apple and support From here you can search for the Mac OS system you want just by writing Mac OS and its name but you will notice that the suggestions are the newer versions I think from Sierra to Big Sure only and uh, you can proceed just by selecting anyone and press on its link on App Store and it will be opened through the App Store and you can download it as you want but as we said before from this search button you will get only the newer versions so if you want the older versions you have to move on this page the support page on Apple website until you get the download link from this download link you can press on Mac OS here you will find all the Mac OS systems you want even the older ones like Leon for example <clears throat> okay here you will find them but but be careful when you want to download any versions of this one you have to search for the combo version just download the combo version okay so if you want to explore all the macOS just write macOS and here you will find all the Mac OS systems you want okay just download the combo versions combo versions so if you want to download Catalina just download Mac OS Catalina combo update and you will get it fully completed okay we will proceed by Catalina now I have downloaded Catalina the combo version from the website of Apple this means that is an official version its size is 8 gigabytes nearly okay now we have to build the first portable uh, USB drive using the 16 gigabytes flash drive as I mentioned before if I try to open it I will get this message okay so we have to connect the flash drive now it appeared on the desktop just to check its size okay it is 16 gigabytes now we have to format it with a good format that's suitable to bootable Mac OS just open disk utility and move to the 
flash drive and format it, erase it um, using this format exfat and guide partition mapping. Now rename it as bootable. OS for example and Aries. Wait until this process is completed but take care everything on this flash drive will be completely erased. Done. Now let's create the bootable Mac OS. Just press on this version of Mac OS just Catalina content and resources you will find a folder called create install media okay just what we want this folder in show back to content content and resources okay this is the folder now open terminal Just try it solo and drag this folder here, then space dash volume space and drag this one here and press enter. Write your password. Okay, repeat the command again. Sodo. Drag this one. And the dash dash volume. Space. Drag it and press enter. Okay, now everything is okay. To continue, type Y. Type Y and press return. Okay, now the uh, Catalina Bootable Media is created. We have to wait until everything is finished. This process may take some time. We have to wait until it's completed to 100%. Okay, now everything is completed and we have created the bootable USB drive. We can check it now. Okay, this is available disk space and here you will find the installation media created on the USB drive, okay? From this step you have to make the decision. If you want to install this OS in your internal hard disk, you can skip the coming step. But if you want to install this Mac OS in an external USB drive you have to prepare this drive before restarting your Mac so in this step I will show you how to prepare a 32 gigabytes flash drive to be uh, suitable for installation of Mac OS Catalina or any other softwares just connect the, the, the USB drive okay this one check its space okay now open disk utility this is the USB drive we have to format or erase this drive with these formats ABFS and the partition theme SGUID partition map okay then press erase this will remove all the data on this USB drive but this USB drive will be suitable for installation of any Mac OS system. Just wait until this process is completed. Okay, now the operation is successful and we have two disk drives, one of them 
contains the installation media of macOS Catalina and the second one will be the hard disk where I will install this macOS also you can install Catalina on your internal hard drive just restart your Mac now while pressing the options key now we can restart the Macbook while connecting the two USB drives and pressing the options key Now we have two options, either to select the internal hard disk or the installation media and we will select this one. Now the system opened into the, the installation media mode, Mac OS utilities, from here we can check just check that everything is connected and everything is okay now we have two disk drives one of them is the 32 gigabytes and the second one which contains the installation media okay and this is the internal hard disk of our macbook just close this one and select install mac os and continue from here we can select the external usb drive then press install this step may take some time and we only waiting now the installation moves as normal i will select my country then next now the remaining settings as normal From here you can transfer any old data on any Macbook or PC Windows. From here you can add your Apple ID or just proceed without adding anything for now. You can set up this later. You can proceed with the remaining steps. Now we have installed macOS Catalina on an external USB drive in your MacBook and you can boot either systems either Big Sur or macOS Catalina for selecting booting you have to connect the USB which contains macOS Catalina before starting your MacBook then press start while holding or pressing the options key the options key you will get to a screen like that which you will have two choices either to boot from the internal hard disk or to boot from the external drive which contains the mac os catalina second note do you remember this screen this screen appear when we was installing mac os catalina here we can see two disk drives the one which contains the installation media the bootable media and this one which is the formatted USB drive but the internal hard disk uh, disappeared if you want to install macOS Catalina on the internal hard disk you have to go back from this step 
and uh, to the disk utility and format the internal hard disk this will remove all the data on internal hard disk and you have to format it as ABFS when you do this step the internal hard disk will appear here and you can proceed to install Catalina on the internal hard disk please don't forget to like and share and subscribe to my channel where you will find many videos that may be beneficial for you also, we can directly chat on my website itechformac.net where you will find a valuable data. Thank you.